Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm starting with priming my skin with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and I'm using the end of it because this stuff was expensive and I'm trying to use all of it, okay? I'm pressing it into my skin because it's supposedly supposed to apply your primer better so I'm testing out that theory. I usually rub it in but I'm pressing it in today. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. And I started blending it in with the Molly Cosmetics Silly Sponge and I realized that I didn't like it. I'm just be honest. It was more of a hassle than using a sponge or a brush just because my hand was getting tired and, and it was like a weird thing to use. I wanted to use my brush or my sponge so I don't think I'm going to be using that. Um, but if you like it, then go right ahead. For now, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade shade tan sand and I'm going to blend it in with a beauty blender. Next to set my concealer I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder with a e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm making sure to avoid that area that I'm pointing to where I'm going to highlight with a shimmer highlighter just so that the highlighter sticks better and it's more pigmented when it's just being applied to my liquid foundation versus a powder. Next, I'm going to do a light dusting of the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in the shade 173. And I'm doing this to set my foundation and to go over like my chin area where I applied that lighter setting powder just because it could look a little ashy if I don't do that. Now I'm going to highlight with the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in the shade number two. Next to bronze up my face, I'm using the NYX Dark Tan Matte Bronzer and the purpose of this powder is to just create definition. When you apply foundation, it kind of makes your face look flat, but the highlight and the bronzer slash contour, if you decide to use contour, it brings the life and dimension back into your face. Then I'm going to start on my brows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown and I'm outlining the top, outlining the bottom, and then filling in the center and making short hair like strokes in the front then I'm going in with the Anastasia brow powder and I'm just going to use the light side of the powder to fill in the front and then the dark side to fill in the back part of my brow Next, with the same concealer that I used to highlight my face I'm going to use to clean up my brows just the bottom part of my brow then right underneath the arch of my brow, I'm going to apply the Nude Sticks Champagne Highlight Pencil and then just blend that in with my finger. And this pencil has a bit of shimmer, so it gives a really nice highlight right underneath your brows. Then I'm moving on to eyeshadow and I'm first going to prime with the Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Potion. Then the eyeshadow palette that we're using today is by Tarte Cosmetics and I'm starting with that cream shade and I'm using that to set my eyeshadow base. Then with Force of Nature, I'm going to apply this as my transition color and this is just going to make all of the other eyeshadows blend nicer and I'm using a Sigma E35 brush for that. Then with the natural beauty shade I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush and I'm applying that directly on top of Force of Nature because it has a little more purple and I wanted purple in my crease to go with my lip color. And then right underneath that I'm taking the shade Best Friend which is a little more deep than the natural beauty shade and then with the deepest purple, which is the shade Bombshell, I'm just going to use that to finish off the crease shades as well as add that last bit of drama to our crease. Next with the Sigma Cut Crease Brush and the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35, I'm going to use this to lay down a base for my lid shade. And I do this because when I map out my lid very precisely, it makes everything look like very symmetrical and it makes it look as perfect as I can get it. And with my eyeshadow, I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that. Once I found out that trick, there's like no going back. I do that almost every time now. So on top of that concealer before it dries down I will apply the pigment or shimmer eyeshadow whatever I decide to use which today I use the makeup addiction French manicure pigment and it's a pinkish kind of peachy pigment and so I applied that and then I applied the same crease shades that I use in my crease on my lower lash line and now I'm just finishing it off with a coat of mascara and then I'm going to apply my lashes off camera And then for the main event, our lip color. I'm going to start by lining my lips with the MAC Night Moth Lip Pencil. 
And then I'm going to fill in the center with the Dose of Colors Cold Shoulder Liquid Lipstick. Alright, and that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this full on glam tutorial. This lip color, awesome. I really like it, but I want to know you guys' opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.